If you're one of those people that's brave or crazy enough to give home butchering a try, bravo, you are my kin. After years of doing this, we have definitely found some items that make this process a whole lot easier. So let me share with you our family's top 10 list. Let's kick it off with some knives, specifically the filleting kind. They are the long slender ones that have some bend to them. We enjoy a variety of different lengths depending on if we're cutting around the bone or what our preference is. Either way, they need to be good and sharp so that we don't get hurt and we can process our deer faster. Which leads us into sharpeners. There are a few options out there. This one came with our knives, but you can use a sharpening steel or my lazy favorite, the electric sharpener. Whatever your bag, keep them sharp to keep you safe. You need a huge cutting board. We picked this one up from Rona. It is six feet. It's the whole size of our table. So I don't have to worry about juices running off and getting all gross. It is amazing. Been there, butchered that. Come on guys, we gotta have some mom jokes in here. These bins came from Cabela's and we have purchased them over the last few years. I love that they are different depths. They really help us to stay organized in the midst of our butchering chaos and I'm sure that they will do that for you. They could be vinyl, they could be a little bit more durable, but gloves are definitely a necessity to have, especially if we wanna have our kids helping us at the table. Curtis and I don't wear them all the time, but we definitely wanna have them as an option for people who join us. Our vacuum sealer has definitely upped our butchering game completely. Our sealer is a commercial grade one from Cabela's and we've put it through years of sucky work, but it never complains. We use the pre-cut bags along with these rolls so that we can cut it to whatever size that we need, and that slide cutter, sheet a bomb. Ziploc bags are a great help. We use the snack size bags to freeze meat scraps for our dog. The large freezer bags hold meat that we're not quite ready to vacuum seal. And the extra large freezer bags hold at least 10 to 15 pounds of meat that we grind up every year and use for sausage. And where would we be without a Sharpie? You gotta have at least one, two, or maybe four. They get a little lost as the day goes on. This cute little digital scale is rechargeable. I ordered it off of Air Miles and I feel like this is a kitchen staple for our family. Here's your free item, gumption. After butchering 12 deer this year, there is a level of determination that shows up that just wants the job done. Every part of the process is so important so that in the year following, our family is taken care of. There are other items that you could use too, like a grinder or a sausage stuffer, but for our family, we do that process at a totally different time. So if I've missed anything, or if you have something that you use that blows your mind and changes the game, leave that down in the comments below so that everyone can get your feedback. Thanks so much for watching guys. Catch you in the next one.